The first day of the World Youth Sailing Championships right here in Corpus Christi and the hooks are also in town back home tonight. Tessa Brary in the studio with all that details for us. Yeah, pretty busy for a Monday, yeah. right? Well, Drew, Sonia, good evening. Uh, let's begin with something that the sailing community, really the entire community, has been anticipating ever since Corpus Christi won the bid to host the Youth Sailing World Championships. Now, the official racing for Youth Worlds began today, and there are over 66 countries represented right here in the Coastal Bend. Both male and female divisions are competing in races that are divided according to boat type. Now, there are over 280 competitors ages 12 to 19 that are all trying to place at the end of the week. Medals go to the top three finishers in each division and sailing if you didn't know uses a point system where racing with the racer with the least amount of points wins so where you finish at the end of each day determines your points and let's just hear from some of the sailors competing it seems like in texas that you're getting the same pretty much every day like 15 to 20 knots and it's always a bit choppy um, the water's always warm because it's always nice and warm in texas for me the conditions were quite difficult uh, shifts, but I had the feeling that I was always on the wrong side, so not so nice, but in the end I at least connected to the top 10 as well, so okay. Beautiful accents there. Vote. Uh, races continue tomorrow through Friday. Launches and retrieval occur from McGee Beach from 11 a.m. and they go to about 2, but you can really witness this thing all day. Over to baseball now. After winning the Texas League South Division first half title, the Hooks are on pace to win the second half too, and they begin the night with a three-game lead over Frisco, and it just happens that the Rough Riders are in town. So this is game two of a four series. The Riders won last night, but they were having all sorts of issues in the bottom of the first. This is Rough Riders catcher. He cannot find the baseball after this wild pitch and a speedy Andy Pineda races all the way in from second base and scores with ease. Couple batters later, more problems for the catcher. This is Carlos Garre and it's another pass ball. So this one is going to score Chaz McCormick and he scores from third. So two runs the easy way early on, but Hooks go on to actually drop this game. Five to three is your final score, and luckily they'll get another chance tomorrow night. Drew, Sonia, back to you.